The Indian Navy is all set to commission its latest stealth guided missile destroyer in Imphal at Naval Dockyard Mumbai on 26 December in the presence of Raksha Mantri Rajnath Singh who will be the chief guest. The event marks the formal induction into Navy of the third of four Vishakhapatnam class destroyers indigenously designed by Indian Navy's in-house organization Warship Design Bureau and constructed by Mazgaon Dock Limited Mumbai. Notably Imphal is the first warship to have named after a city from the northeast. the approval for which was accorded by the president on 16th april 2019 thus underlining the importance of the region for national security sovereignty and prosperity Imphal was delivered to Indian Navy on 20th October 2023 after completing a rigorous and comprehensive trial program both in the harbor and at the sea Subsequently the ship successfully test fired the extended range supersonic BrahMos missile in November 2023 a first for any indigenous warship before commissioning thus demonstrating the navy's thrust on combat effectiveness and confidence in the cutting edge indigenous weapons and platforms Following this milestone achievement the ship's crest was unveiled by defense minister at New Delhi on 28th November in the presence of chief minister of Manipur and other senior dignitaries upon commissioning Imphal will join the Western Naval Command INS Imphal is built with significant contribution from the public and private sector including MSMEs and the Defense Research and Development Organization Project 15B Vishakhapatnam class is the latest in the lineage of Project 15A Kolkata class and Project 15 Delhi class indigenous destroyers with upgraded capabilities and greater indigenous content measuring 163 meter in length displacing 7400 tons and with 75% indigenous content Imphal can rightfully be regarded as one of the most potent warship to have been constructed in India a testament to India's growing shipbuilding prowess in pursuit of the national vision of Atmanirbhar Bharat Imphal is also a true harbinger of a developed India in tune with the national vision for Amritkal a formidable moving fortress at sea Imphal is capable of achieving speeds in excess of 30 knots and is packed with sophisticated state of the art weapons and sensors such as surface to surface missile and surface to air missiles The ship is fitted with a modern surveillance radar which provides target data to the gunnery weapon systems of the ship. The ship's anti-submarine warfare capabilities are provided by indigenously developed rocket launchers, torpedo launchers and ASW helicopters. The ship is equipped to fight under nuclear, biological and chemical warfare conditions and has a high degree of automation and stealth features further enhancing her combat capability and survivability. Some of the major indigenous equipment system on board Imphal include indigenous medium range surface to air missile surface to surface missiles torpedo tubes anti submarine rocket launchers super rapid gun mount besides combat management system integrated platform management system automated power management system foldable hangar doors hello traversing system close in weapon system and bow mounted sonar major oems as well as msmes such as bl lnt godrays Marine Electrical, Brahmos, Technico, Kineco, Jeet and Jeet, Shishma Marine, Techno Province, etc., have all contributed to making of the mighty Imphal. The time taken to build Imphal and for her trials in the shortest for any indigenous destroyer. Imphal's keel was laid on 19th May 2017, and the ship was launched into the water on 20th April 2019. Imphal sailed out of her maiden sea trials on 20th April this year and has completed a comprehensive schedule of trials both in the harbor and at sea, leading up to its delivery on 20th October this year within a record time frame of six months, the fastest for a ship of its size. Imphal will have the unique distinction of being the largest and the most advanced destroyer to be ever named after a city from the northeast. This is a befitting tribute to Manipur's sacrifices and contribution in India's freedom struggle, be it the Anglo-Manipur War of 1891 or Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's hoisting of the INF flag for the first time on 14th April 1944 at Moirang or the pitched battle of Imphal between British and Imperial Japanese forces with Indians on both the sides that turned the tides of the Burma campaign and shaped the outcome of the Second World War and the New World Order. The commissioning of Imphal the commissioning of Imphal thus underscores the salience and contribution of the city of Imphal the state of Manipur and the larger northeast region to national security sovereignty and prosperity Thanks for watching National Defence Jai Hind Bande Mataram